Yeah, Cottom's got a little bit of a his hamstring. Uh, we tried him two days ago, but uh, he's not up to full speed, so we're trying to be smart before the break and hopefully be able to get 10 practices out of him when we get back off the break. I mean, he's a guy you, I'm sure we're going to look at this, spring as, as somebody who can get some more snaps for you last year, right? Yeah. Did yeah. that, that hurt him a little bit then to not be able to be out there? Well, obviously, if he can't practice, it's, you know, it hurts him. Um, those other guys are doing a nice job. There's other young guys. I think they're really nice job. So sometimes you get an opportunity to see other things that uh, you might not ordinarily see. Can't Green specifically. Yeah, yeah. He's had a nice uh, four practices. So uh, he's a, definitely a guy that's starting to emerge up the depth chart. Why? What, why? what do you like about him? Well, he's so he's he's so compact. The way he runs, he sees things. He's uh, fast around people, and he's starting to understand. Just what, are, what are you seeing out of your offensive line after four, four practices? Fighting like crazy. Those guys are fighting, especially on the edges. You know, you weren't, you didn't know what you were going to get out of the tackles. But those guys, and you know what? We're running about three offensive plays in the run game, which I think is helping them. Um, and a lot of it's zone, which helps those guys not block power and some of those isolation blocks where they have to be one on one blocks. Um, but they're doing a nice job. They really are. Good Very you. pleased. He had Monday's closed practice, but when you guys were able to get outside, what did you see out of the group then? Uh, you know, it was the first time to get some some long-range punt things and, and those types of things. I mean, it was our typical practice running around, but uh, it was good to get outside. Who's kind of standing out to you in the, with the offensive line at this point? Well, I, I think the two guys that are playing exceptionally well is the center, Kugler, and the left guard is Jason King. But, um, you know, Serm is really starting to come these last couple of practices. And, and uh, you know, the tackles are battling. And I'm, I'm proud, proud of the way, how hard they're playing. How does, how does Coops' role change this year with, with all the experience that he's gained? Well, he's got to be much more of a leader from day one. I thought he emerged as a leader late in the, in the season. But from day one, he's got to be much more of a leader for us. And uh, he's done that. And he's got to be the quarterback of that offensive line. Get everybody in the right place so we get all the hats on the right people. What is it you like about Cerny? What do you think he's doing so well? Well, you know, he's, he's a big guy. For an inside guy, he's a really big guy. But he moves well. He bends well for a big guy. And uh, if he can continue to learn, I like his chances. And him and Rooster have a great battle going on right now. What does he fit better inside than outside? You know, I think a little, sometimes on the edge, when you're isolated out there, when you're going against speed guys, it's a little bit harder. Uh, now he feels protected. He's got guys on both sides of him. He feels a little bit more protected. Uh, so uh, he's doing a good job in that. One of the things Coach Shoup talked about on, on signing day was needing a little more anchor ability up front. You feel like those guys are, you're, you're seeing a little a little uh, more push and and what you need to see out of yeah, your I think so. Well. I think those guys are, like I said, they're working their double team so much better right now than they did all of last year. And that's the key. If you can get movement on the line of scrimmage, then you're going to make yards.